will step up and clean up if the contamination is as bad as it's feared to be when it was discovered last summer. Well, tonight, New Mexico's Attorney General and the state's Environment Department are sounding the alarm with this lawsuit. For years, Cannon Air Force Base in Clovis and Holloman Air Force Base in Alamogordo used a firefighting foam to put out jet fuel fires during military drills. The chemicals in that foam are toxic and could be dangerous if leached into your drinking water. AG Hector Balderas wants to hold the U.S. Air Force accountable for it. We think that they need to not only get their hands around the problem, but more importantly, they need to save lives with some sense of urgency. The chemicals known as polyfluoral alkyls or PFAS could cause certain cancers and affect your hormones if consumed at high levels. The New Mexico Environment Department also a part of this lawsuit, even taking water samples from around these Air Force bases to see how extensive this plume is. And those foams have reached groundwater. Environment Department Secretary James Kenney now wonders how far the chemicals may have spread. PFAS easily dissolves or easily stays suspended in the water and it can be a film on top of the groundwater so it can travel far and wide. The Air Force tells Target 7 it has responded aggressively by providing alternate water and finding a long-term solution to prevent exposure. But the repercussions could be widespread. <coughs> Target 7 brought you Clovis dairy farmer Art Scop's story who may now have to euthanize his 4,000 cows. They've poisoned everything we've worked for our whole life. I mean, this is, uh, as a farmer, this is my 401k. This is everything we work for. Well, the latest water test results from New Mexico's Environment Department will be available in the next two to three weeks. Keep in mind, Cannon and Holloman no longer use the PFAS foam. And if you're wondering, PFAS contamination has not been found in Kirtland Air Force Base. They have, however, dealt with a separate contamination issue involving a fuel spill. For Target 7, I'm Christine Pei, KOAT Action 7 News.